Chapter 4 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki is titled The History of Taxes and the Power of Corporations. In this chapter, Kiyosaki discusses the history of taxes and how understanding them can be a crucial component of financial education. Here's a summary of the key points from this chapter. Understanding Taxes Kiyosaki starts by explaining that taxes are a significant expense that can eat into your income and wealth. He argues that most people pay a substantial portion of their earnings in taxes without understanding how they work. Historical Perspective Kiyosaki provides a brief history of taxes, starting with the American Revolution and the battle cry, No Taxation Without Representation. He points out that even though there have been changes in tax laws over the years, taxes remain a significant part of our financial lives. The power of corporations, Kiyosaki introduces the concept that understanding taxes can benefit individuals and businesses. He explains how corporations have unique tax advantages and can legally reduce their tax liabilities, allowing them to keep more of their profits. Taxes and the rich. Kiyosaki suggests that the rich often pay fewer taxes compared to the middle class and the poor because they understand how to take advantage of tax laws and use them to their benefit. He emphasises the importance of financial education in achieving this level of understanding. The Role of Financial Education Kiyosaki highlights how financial education can teach individuals how to minimise their tax liabilities and increase their wealth. He advocates for learning about tax strategies and using them to build and protect assets. The importance of taking action. Kiyosaki emphasizes that it's not enough to know about taxes and financial education in theory. One must take action and apply this knowledge to their own financial situation. He encourages readers to actively seek opportunities for reducing taxes and building wealth. In this chapter, Kiyosaki underscores the significance of understanding taxes and how it can impact your financial future. He suggests that financial education is not just about earning money, but also about protecting and growing your wealth by making informed financial decisions, including those related to taxes and business structures.